Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to this November 2021 energy update. In this video, I'm going to be sharing some downloads that I've been receiving around the energies of November 2021. The message from Raven to support us through this month, as well as two of the most powerful things that I've been shown that can help us to move through November 2021 and beyond in the most grace and ease in alignment with light. So let's start with just some of these downloads that I've been getting. So what I'm feeling when I feel into the energies of November 2021 is that this coming month holds the potential for widespread awakening. And I'm feeling especially related to the 1111 portal. And because of this, November energies represent a strategically incredibly important battleground. Now, I say this with some reservation because at the high, high, high levels, there's no battle. Everything's one, right? It's the law, the law of divine oneness. We are all one. <laughs> And so we each have our own direct connection with the one and we express that in specific ways. And so sometimes you can have the appearance of various factions opposing each other. Okay, and that's what's happening right now. So at certain levels of actually existing on the earth, there is a spiritual battle going on. And that's what this is referring to. And I feel like that definitely needs to be taken very seriously and we'll see why. So, okay, so we basically have this opposition right now on the planet between service to self factions and service to others, right? Energy is right now in opposition to the awakening of a heart-centered consciousness on planet Earth will be amping up the magnitude of their efforts through all means possible. These include, among other things, mind control tactics, disinformation campaigns, blatant lies, coercion, manipulation, and authoritarian measures. Okay, it's already happening, but potential for really ramping up in November. Uh, we're likely to see increased attempts to block and or disrupt energy flows of all kinds. And so keep in mind, everything is energy. This is the law of vibration. So energy can include communication pathways it can include the flow of commerce physical transport as well as spiritual energy pathways around the planet and within individuals between individuals okay so you may feel some effect in your own energy flow in you know if you work with the land the ley lines of the land anything like that so the image i'm being given is like this humongous game of tug of war of the service to self versus service to others uh, factions energetically things have a huge potential for really coming to a head in november each side trying to hold its own ground and gain ground over the other at some point and very probably catalyzed by that 1111 portal which i will be doing some deep inquiries into the 1111 portal i'll be making a video on that uh, coming up but at some point one side's going to gain the upper hand because things can't remain in stasis forever so after that point in November 2021, we may see an acceleration of timelines and certain things may appear to speed up as truths are revealed or concealed. Okay, this all hinges on truth and we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a bit. I personally believe and I think a lot of light workers do feel this at a very deep level that the light has already won. We're just seeing this played out. But free will choice is still in effect. And so nothing is set in stone. If we don't exercise our free will, you know, this things can change, right? So I am being shown that this is a, a, a really important point at which free will must be exercised. If the light side gains the upper hand at this point, it's going to be a major acceleration of the timelines of bringing the earth to a heart-centered consciousness. However, it may seem in the short term like the dark side is winning because the dark agenda has been allowed to get big enough that fighting it directly only feeds it 
and the only thing that's going to work is to stand firm and prevent it from advancing. So like a wildfire, it needs fuel. It has to feed off of others' energy, and without that, it starts to burn itself out. But as it burns itself out, as that process really accelerates, it's going to start to show itself more and more for what it is. So the darkness may appear to be really accelerating. What we're really going to be seeing is the accelerated burning out of that, that service to self agenda but it can could be very intense so if you see this know that it's a sign that the light side really actually has had a victory and this major matrix agenda burning of itself out is is going to be well underway if the dark side gains upper hand at this particular time juncture things may actually appear to get easier in some ways for a lot of people not all right but in the general uh, consensus of people who are not seeing what's really going on things may appear to get easier should the service to self agenda get the upper hand this november okay if you see that happening this it does not mean that the dark has won, okay? It means that we're going to need to double down the efforts, right? Um, even more so. But if that should happen, assuming that free will does eventually kick in, this is going to be a temporary thing, an illusion designed to lull people into complacency so that the dark side can regroup and tighten their grip, okay? It does not mean that the service to self-faction is won. It's just that it'll be a longer, drawn-out affair and probably more difficult in the end. Okay, so this is why it's such a critical thing right now to really hold to the light. Okay, well, what does that mean? And that's where this particular drawing has something to say about that and the spirit animal of Raven in particular. As I was getting ready to do this November video, Raven kept saying, hey, you know, this is really important. So Raven here is the shadow, the unsung, okay? He reminds us of the dark side of our soul okay raven is a messenger between worlds he's often seen as a trickster he can embody both shadow side and and light side and if we are fearless he will assist us in bringing that dark side of our soul into light so that we can fully see it and that's what he's telling us here he says what do you know that you are not admitting to yourself ask your body your body knows, your body tells. Ask to be shown the hidden side of yourself that your ego does not want you to know. Pay attention, feel the vibration within you. Everything has a cause and effect. When the body responds, what is the cause? There are no secrets like Poe's story, the telltale heart, something will always reveal the truth. The thing is it may not be something that we want to see or acknowledge. Raven croaks out the truth. Raven knows that even an ugly truth is a gateway to the beautiful. A beautiful lie is a portal to pain, sorrow, and darkness. Okay, so I think part of what Raven is saying with the body is pay attention to the natural world, okay? Your body being part of that natural world. Nature has the template. And this brings us to one of the things that I'm feeling is absolutely key and critical to getting through this matrix and to bringing a new golden age to earth and that is to understand what's truth and what's not and in order for that to happen the only thing that I have found that absolutely <laughs> will do that is to familiarize oneself with the universal spiritual laws with natural law okay natural law is basically <laughs> the barometer by which we can measure truth. If you understand natural law, you will be able to see what's aligned and what's not, and then choose accordingly what your path is going to be. If you haven't yet checked out my video on the 12 universal spiritual laws, I will put the link below. I encourage you to do that as well as subscribe if you haven't yet, because I'm going to be doing a little video on each of the 12 laws. Okay, so being aware of and aligning oneself with natural law, absolutely critical. And then the other thing that Raven is really pointing out is how essential it is to speak the truth, to, to, to start to really express. This is where the line is, and thou shalt not cross, you know, whatever it is that, that 
is crossing your boundaries, you want to make sure you know what those boundaries are. You also want to make sure those boundaries are actual boundaries in alignment with light, right? Because there's a lot of illusion out there. There's, there's a lot of ugliness out there. And it's really easy to want to put one's head in the sand and just want to call in love and light and, and enjoy that. And that's, you know, we need to do that. But at this point, it's super important to know. you got to know your enemy, right? You've got to look and see what's going on. And so Raven really, really, really reminds us to do that. Dark things, nasty things, ugly things that are ignored, they're not going to go away. They're not going to go away. They get bigger and badder and uglier. So to me, this painting is really about being willing. <laughs> you know, sometimes we have to be the ugly voice that, that reminds people and, <laughs> you know, to have that courage to be able to speak the truth, no matter what it is. And, you know, sometimes you can find, hopefully with some of, sometimes we can find beautiful ways to bring light to the shadow. Um, but sometimes we've got to be willing to speak that truth, no matter even if we feel like we might be offending others, right? I'll probably lose subscribers over this video. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care because it, it's got to be said. In order to take back what's ours, you know, which is all our rights to exist and to be happy and free, we need to be able to express that. So if you're being given things to share, share them. Stay tuned for more and remember you were born to be free.